going on guys it's King Touch Pro and welcome back to another tutorial in today's tutorial I'm gonna teach you guys how to clone yourself with Flamora and it's actually really easy alright guys so the first thing you want to go ahead and do is just download Flamora I will leave a link in the description so you guys can download it once you have it downloaded go ahead and install it now you guys can of course get the free trial or purchase the full version but no matter which version you get you should be able to get the same effect now, in order to get this effect, the clone effect, first of all, you want to make sure that you film your subject or the person at a still frame, making sure that you use a tripod and that you don't move the tripod at all. Once you have it done, just stop the, the video or whatever, just do not move the camera, and then switch positions to the either left or right side, depending on where you first started, and then you want to go ahead and start recording and then stop it. So, once you have both footages, uh, you know filmed and everything you want to go ahead and open up Filmora go ahead and import your uh, footage by clicking this little plus icon and I have the uh, Part one and part two so you want to go ahead and drag part two or the second part of the video or the other part that you filmed Go ahead and drag that right below the first video Go ahead and click this little settings here and that will bring up the element inspector You want to go on to the mask panel and then from here depending on where you recorded it so in this case, we want to see the right side, okay? So I'm going to go with this one. Uh, I believe it's this one here. And the left part will be will remain and the right part will be transparent. So now we can just modify the width and everything here to whatever you want. Now right here, you can change the... Now you're going to have a line and that's normal. But depending on the lighting conditions and when you film this, this does kind of take effect, so just keep that in mind, but just make sure that you try to go and line it up with an edge so it's not too visible, okay? And the height, this will just change the height for this one here because we want to keep this part transparent so we can see right through it. And when you're ready, just click OK. So once you've clicked OK, you're going to have this right here, and it looks really, really cool. Now, Flamora did come out with a new version. I believe it is version 7.8, and they included some new things. They included the advanced color tuning, which is pretty much color correction on your video. So maybe you want to change the color on the, the bottom part two, or I think it's part one. Yeah, it's part one, so maybe you want to color tune it or just refine the color. Uh, you, all you have to do is click this little button here, and it says Advanced Color Tuning. And from here, you can go ahead and adjust the color. So it's actually really, really cool. So you have on the left, you have the presets. And on the presets, you have a bunch of things that you can do. You can even categorize it to your favorites if you added it as a favorite, as a you know custom. If you have one where you can even save your presets uh, or save texts or anything like that. Uh, you can do 3D LUTs, uh, common, you can do film, which is really cool. You can click on one and it gives you a preview. You can push play and that will also give you a preview. You can do TV, you can do Far East, you can do Jungle. Uh, but if you go on to all presets, it gives you all of them. If you go on to adjust, you can adjust a whole bunch of things. You can adjust the white balance. Okay, so you can move this to the left. It will give you a cooler temperature, as you, as you can see there, which is pretty nice that they added that. Or you can move it to the right, which will give you a warmer tone. Or you can move it to the left to bring out the greens or whatever you want. Now, if you go on to 3D LUT, this is where you can change the, uh, the presets or whatever we selected there. You can change the color. You can change the, the uh, exposure, okay? You can change the brightness, of course. You can even see it on the histogram. But, uh, yeah, you can change the highlights. You can change the shadows and everything, which is really, really cool. You can even add a vignette to this which is really nice you can see the amount there you can even do the size I don't really like to change the size so or you can just reset everything and click OK now the next thing is the pan and zoom so this is really really cool so if you have the video here and you click this little crop option there you can go on to the top and then it says crop and zoom we're gonna go on to pan and zoom and then you have the start and end so if you go on to you know if you click here or you click in the middle you can drag the end point and this is where we want it to uh, you know zoom into so so now if I push this play button it will give you a preview of it and it's really really slow of course because the video is 40 seconds long so it's so during the whole duration of that 40 seconds that's how long the the transition will take or the pan will take but if it's five seconds the panning will be very very fast so just keep that in mind I'm gonna go ahead and reset that and click OK 
You even have some new transition controls, which is really, really cool. If we go onto the transitions, I'm gonna go onto any transition. I'm just gonna go onto dissolve just because that one is nice and basic, but I'm just gonna go ahead and drag that on there. Double click on the transition or just right click and, uh, and, then, and then go to show inspector. And then here you can even change the duration. Maybe you want it to be a second and 20 seconds long. You can do that. You can even apply a duration to all of the clips. And the transition mode, you can do overlap, you can do prefix or post fix. When it says when there's not enough media, you can either use trimmed frames or repeat the frames. So click OK. So now if I push play, it's going to go ahead and transition just like that. Also, the next thing and the last thing is the ripple delete. Now this works really great when you have a bunch of clips in the timeline. If you right click and you go onto split, and you have another one there. Now when you have a bunch of clips piled up onto each other, you can ripple delete. And this will allow you to delete a video and move everything right here wherever the cursor is. So to do that, you wanna go ahead and make sure that the ripple delete is on. So when that is on and you push delete, everything will move to the left to fit here. So it doesn't leave any gaps pretty much. So that's pretty much it. That is how you clone yourself with Filmora. And uh, yeah, if you guys want to see how you clone yourself in Final Cut Pro 10, please leave a comment below. That will be awesome. I will see you guys on my next video. Until then, peace out, take care, and enjoy your day.